I was going to film this video on my main camera with my lights and stuff but I didn't fancy sitting under my studio lights for about an hour or so. It usually gives me a bit of a headache afterwards so I thought I'd just pop my vlog camera on my windowsill. Use the natural light because it's kind of overcast today, hopefully it shouldn't change too much and tell you about the Manchester Planner B here instead. <laughs> so it was a bit of a hectic weekend for me. I had Anna and Geraldine and Chloe come the day before. Anna and Geraldine came in the daytime and we just ended up chatting the whole time they were here. We were going to craft and stuff but we didn't have time. We were just talking pretty much non-stop. Then they went home and I was waiting for Chloe who had the most horrendous car drive up here. She did finally make it. She didn't turn back home which she really wanted to do but I'm so glad she made it. And then the next day we got the train to Manchester and we went to the Manchester Planner Bee. I did forget my vlog camera which I was very annoyed about. I never usually forget things when I'm going to events but it was kind of you know we got up in the morning and it was like right we need to get to the train station we need to get stuff sorted and obviously she arrived late the evening before so we didn't have a ton of time to sort stuff out then we just went to bed so I was filming clips on my phone throughout the event so I will insert a few clips in this video that I got but there's just not quite as many as I usually get with my vlog camera when we got there they had the shops around like one end of the hall they had the tables in the middle and then at the other end they had a photo booth and then a whole massive table full of raffle prizes which was amazing. <laughs> so we found our table and sat down and met our table members, all of which we'd spoken to before pretty much because we had a group chat on Facebook. Where are you going, doggo? Are you coming down? Come on then. Come here. Come on then. Okay. So yeah, we met them and then it all got started and they had a little introduction and then they had a workshop and talk by Karen. When I go to these sorts of events and they have workshops and stuff, I have to be like in a calm mindset to do them and I never really am because my anxiety is going like a mile a minute so I did try and jot down like the basic idea of the workshop so I can have a look later. They also had a make and take which was near the end of the day where we can make a tag. Again I took the tag and the pieces home to do because I do find that hard. Then pretty much the rest of the time was free time so we could go shop around all the shops at the other end of the hall. <laughs> photo booth we could get drinks and stuff me and Chloe went out for lunch we got subway it was just a really chilled afternoon and I got to see a lot of friends I don't usually get to see especially Anna and Chloe and Geraldine but she wasn't at the event we don't get to see each other that often at all we talk pretty much every day but we don't like this year we've maybe seen each other two three times maybe I think it's actually only two the dog's eating what are you <laughs> another dog toy for the bin. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, it was a really nice day to just be able to not have a ton of stuff on. Like I love events when they do have a lot on because you get a lot out of the event, but it was really nice to just have time to chat to everyone, to shop, to not stress too much. So that was pretty much the day. Oh, I do have my photo booth photo somewhere. You have to excuse this hair. I don't even know what it's doing, but it's just, it's out. <laughs> And it's annoying me. You're probably not going to be able to see this. I do need to get a nice photo of them all to put on my Instagram. I took some with Chloe and Joey. Um, and then there's ones of me, Anna and Chloe and me and Ashley. Photo booths in general, I'm so not used to. <laughs> I'm such an awkward person in photo booths. But I feel like they're meant to turn out looking a bit silly. So I'm not too worried. <laughs> I love that they came out in little strips. I think that's really cute and I can't wait to journal these. We did also get digital copies if you wanted to print them bigger or print more of them. Yeah, that was like a brief summary of the day, what we got up to and stuff. We did, of course, get a goodie bag. This was the goodie bag and it says Planner Queen on it. As always with these, they are jam-packed with stuff. First of all though, this is the little lanyard we all got. So we all had our names on them and then there's a little number as well, which was for the raffle. Um, they had so many raffle prizes 
that everyone could win one so everyone got a prize which was really cool on the tables when we arrived i think i filmed a clip of what it looked like but there was a load of little goodies this was one of them so this is a planner survival kit so it says daisy's planner survival kit and it says planner meets last a day memories last a lifetime so yeah there's a little bundle of bits and pieces and they each mean a different thing as well which is really sweet so these were gifts from the queen bees the organizers and inside there's a bee bracelet there is the honeybee charm from my shop and then there's a paper clip that says planner bee on it there was also a mason jar with our name on it and then the goodie bag stuff I am gonna try and get through this quite quickly. There's quite a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to linger too much. I'm just gonna go through everything. It is amazing how much people donate to these events. So we have a pen with a little bee rubber on the end. So I'm assuming the pen is erasable. There's a bee badge. There's some washi tape samples. There is some body lotion samples from Carrie Bridges. There's a discount code for Love From Poppy who makes the most gorgeous TNs. There's some stickers from Planner Face. There's some stickers from Josephine Bow. <sighs> I started filming this when she was asleep thinking oh it's all good she's asleep. I'm gonna try and get through this even though she's squeaking in the background. There's some stickers from Duke Palook Designs. There is some beautiful bee and daisy stickers from Michelle and Patch. There's some little sheets of stickers from All Things Paper UK. There's a little TN insert from AJ6 Designs. There is a sheet of stickers from Strawberry Lime Designs. There's some stickers from Hazy Days UK. There's more stickers from Crafty Wrap Designs and some more stickers from, where are these ones from? Dream Big and Plan. Oh, the dog wants to go out, hold on. I've just given her a new treat that she's never had before. And she always goes a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dark you can't really see properly, but. Oh, so many distractions in this video. Um, There is an insert from the Lizzie Papers. There's some stickers from BB Planning. There's some stickers from Busy Bee Stickers. There's a discount code from Ellie Beth Designs. There's some stickers from the Hummingbird Planner. There is a little pack of goodies, by the looks of it, from Crafty Alley Cat. And there's like journaling cards in there, there's postcards. There's some stickers from Little Rainbow Moon. There's some bow embellishments from Mrs Brimbles. There's some ephemera bits from my shop, which is Cloudy Cow. There's some stickers from Partners in Crime Design. I think. Yep. Look at that sloth on the back. How cute. There's a charm from Tail to Tail Shop. I don't know if that's attached to something or if you can attach it. I think you attach it to something yourself. And then last of all, there's a little book of functional stickers from Chocho and Mimi. And there's there's quite a few stickers in there. There's like a little booklet of stickers. You can't really tell how thick it is, but there's like a few sheets in there for sure. Um, there was also a pack of seeds in the goodie bag that kind of leaked everywhere. <laughs> um, no, these are mine. These are not for Bonnie. Yeah, that was the Manchester Planner Bee. It was a really good day. I was so glad that Chloe made it after the crazy journey she had. And it was just a really good day out. I wanted to say a massive thank you to the organisers and the team behind it. You did an amazing job. It's I know how hard it can be and you pulled it off amazing. You're trying to go up there. Okay, okay. You ready? You're gonna stretch? <laughs> Sit down then. <laughs> yeah, it was a really, really good event and if you haven't been to one of these events before, I really encourage you to do so because they are so much fun. I have made so many new friends through this hobby. They're never as scary as your brain thinks they're gonna be. Funny enough, a lot of people who do planning have some sort of anxiety. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing about what we got up to and seeing what's in the goodie bag. Sorry that this video was a bit laid back and all over the place. I just didn't feel like sitting in front of a hot light today. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.